uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at some of the other options that we have in here. So I'm going to go over, let me just close this and let's, let's look at another uh, bit of noise. So here's a sample. This is the sample with the 400 hertz tone in it. This is actually just a sine wave. So it doesn't have a ton of broadband noise in it. And so what I'm going to do is just zoom in and let's uh, get a selection of all of this noise right here. That looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and open up our denoise and we'll hit learn. And there it is. You can see that there's the waveform. It's really right at about 404. We have uh, a couple of different algorithms. We've been using the real-time algorithm. We also have B and C and also D, D being the best and slowest. Let's go ahead and put it on C for now. And I'm going to set my smoothing to 5. The smoothing option allows us to uh, adjust for artifacts. Increase, increase smoothing until you don't hear artifacts and then denoise output. So we can do output noise only and listen to it if you need to. So in this case, let's go ahead and I'm going to grab 18 in terms of noise reduction. And I need to select the whole thing. And let me just move this out of the way and we'll hit play. The MQ90S subwoofer is the latest addition to the RCF Monitor Q series. The compact unit uses an 8-inch high-powered transducer rated at 80 watts RMS. It's designed to achieve the... That's doing a remarkable job. We could even do a second pass. And we'll listen to that. And you can even see that frequency band right there is being diminished. The MQ90S subwoofer is the latest addition to the RCF Monitor Q series. The compact unit uses an 8-inch high-powered transducer rated at 80 watts RMS. It's designed to achieve the maximum performance for its size. How do you like them apples?